10. Dealing with a changing retail landscape in Springfield. Online shopping and economic troubles have left some big storefronts vacant. Now, some of those spots are getting new leases on life. In this week's Boomtown coverage, Color 10's Mike Landa shows us the changes taking place on the city's south side. Well, Stephen, Heather, empty stores across the city are reminders to us that times are indeed changing. Nationwide, in fact, recent months tell us commercial real estate vacancies reached all-time highs across the U.S. Some spots around town have been empty for years, but there are some signs there's still plenty of life left in retail. Oh, we, we like Springfield. It's a beautiful city. A new name is outside on the sign, but what you find on the shelves inside naturally looks familiar. We built the Joplin store uh, uh, back in 2017, and we always had plans on getting out here to Springfield, too. Natural Grocers has opened its doors on South Glenstone. Oh, we were thrilled. We were thrilled. We were counting a month and then the days. And like I say, we just happened to be over here. The spot was home to another natural food chain, Lucky's, which closed most of its locations in 2020 after its main investor, Kroger, pulled out. Oh, we were sad that they closed shop. Up the street, one of the city's biggest empty stores isn't staying that way. This was the city's very last Kmart until it closed in 2017. Now workers are building a new Hobby Lobby and Mardell store. It's a gain for Glenstone Avenue, but a loss for Battlefield Road, where the current stores will close, leaving yet another vacancy right next to the empty Sears store. As for those storefronts lucky enough to get new tenants, owners are ready for business in these changing times. Yeah, well, it's a busy spot. And so, you know, anytime you get a lot of cars, a lot of people in the area, you're going to get some people that need to do some grocery shopping. So that's where we come in. We're ready to shop. More signs this week of a rebounding economy on Battlefield Road. Advance Auto Parts opened in the former Pet Boy store, taking another large vacant retail space off the market, Steve. All right, Mike Landis.